Hey y'all, it's Raj with EB365. Today we're going to go over charging the Mini Cooper SE. The charging port is actually located on the passenger side in the back. Um, and it's where the gas used to go in. Now they've replaced it with the charging connectors. And on the Mini, you've got the J1772 charging for at home charging or level two charging at a retail center or at a hotel or something like that. And then you can pull the bottom out and you can do CCS charging, which is kind of the standard for all non-Tesla vehicles at the moment. Ford and General Motors have just announced that they'll start including the Tesla charging on there. But for now, the Mini has the CCS standard. So you would go to charging areas like Electrify America, EVgo, basically anything that's a non-Tesla charger out there. Um, you can charge at level two Tesla chargers using an adapter, but for now, you can't go to the Tesla fast chargers unless they have one that's got the adapter built in. It's called the Magic Dock. Um, so the at-home level two charger, that'll get you about 7.4 kilowatts of charging speed. Um, you know, so at that rate, you can charge the EV <clears throat> to full capacity in about five hours at home. So that's something you can easily do overnight and just fill it up to about 80, 85%, um, or even up to 100 if you need that to make your daily commute. And then if you ever go to a fast charger, the car can accept 50 kilowatts of charging. Um, and if you look at Tom Malogny's page on Inside EVs and State of Charge, he does some great charging curves for a lot of vehicles and he does the Mini Cooper SE. And the Cooper does hold its charging curve, as you can see, for most of its charging profile. And then once the battery is about 80% full, it starts to drop off. Um, and that's normal for our vehicles. They slow down after 80% kind of to help protect the battery. And then when the battery starts getting full, it's just hard for it to charge at the same speed it's charging when it's more empty. Um, so with that in mind, if you're going to a fast charger, unless you absolutely need to, charge up to 80% and then get off the charger and let the next person use it. Um, and also since it only accepts 50 kilowatts, as far as fast chargers go, you can pretty much go to the slowest fast charger at each stall and be okay, you're gonna get the speeds you want. So if there's 350 kilowatt charges available and 150 kilowatt charges available or a 50 kilowatt charger available, go on the 50 and save those faster ones for cars that can accept that speed. Um, that's just a little charging etiquette for you to consider. Um, and now the Mini Cooper does come with a level two charger for you to do the level two charging at home. And it also comes with a trickle charger, uh, which that one you can plug into a standard outlet. This level two charger, you can plug into a 50 amp outlet, um, you know, so if you're at an RV park, you can use it. If you've got a 50 amp plug at home, you can use it. Um, and it also has adapter for you to use a 30 amp for like a dryer outlet and also the standard outlet. So that's kind of charging basics on the Mini Cooper SE. Um, and it does, oh, I forgot to mention on the CCS fast charging, you can get from zero to 80 in about 30 minutes. Um, so even though it's a small battery, you can get to full pretty quick. And, uh, and yeah, so that's the Mini Cooper SE charging. Hope you enjoy it, and thanks for watching. Bye.